Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to give you the overview of my Dell server, uh, which is Dell R620. It's a bit older server, uh, but still it works fine and I'm using it. So I'm going to just give you the overview of uh, what it has and what we can do with it. So let's go. So it's a very long one u server if you are just familiar with the computers uh, this is how the server look like so we call this one a one u server that means it's going to take one space in the server rack if it's a two u server that's like bigger this size double of this size so that means that's going to take double of uh, the unit space in the rack so it's power edge dell r620 so the first thing we see on the front side is the power button right here uh right here is the power button and we have two usb 2.0 ports and the sd card reader and uh, there is a tiny lcd which will show you uh the status uh, and i'll show you that later because right now it's powered off and we have like hot swappable hard drives and it's 2.5 so you can use ssd or the 2.5 hard drive hdd you just need to press that button and it pops open and you can take it out okay uh, i will install the hard drives as well so we have one two three four five six seven eight slots for hard drives in power as dell uh, r620 and on the other side it has uh, this thing so if it's in the rack you can just pull from the both sides and you can take it uh, out and let's go check the back side of it okay on the back side we have one idrac port uh if you don't know about idrac just ignore it because i'm gonna explain it in uh upcoming videos so we have one serial port so you see io io that means serial and we have a vga port and i think i missed one uh, there is one in the front as well so we have two vga ports so you can connect your crash card or lcd from both sides and we have two usb ports here as well so total of four usb ports and it is it, it comes with four um network cards uh network interfaces so actually it's uh, one network card with four uh interfaces and we have two power supply unit and they are also hot swappable like if one of these go bad i can just press this and a little bit pressure and it comes out so i'm holding my phone with other hand and i had to use one hand but it's a little hard to take it out with one hand but still you can you can see i can pull it out and let's see some information here what we have so it's 10 8 dash 5 8 those are amperes i'm not so good with the electronics but all i see is 100 to 200 volts so it will work with 120 and 220 power as well so in the data centers it's uh, usually 208 so it will work fine with that so i'm gonna just plug that back in okay so we have redundant power supplies in uh, Dell R620. Okay, I'm gonna open this case and I'm gonna show you what's inside it. Okay, so this is the lock. You need to unlock it in, uh, in order to open this case up. So I'm gonna use the screwdriver. So you can see it's facing the lock side. So just use this screwdriver and simply move it to unlock now it's unlocked you can see i unlocked it and just uh, push it back and now you can open the case easily it's really hard to work with one hand and have phone on uh, in the other hand okay so this part is for the hard drives you can see and there are so many things i don't know about but whatever i know i'll try to explain you whatever is needed so these are one two three four five six seven 
seven fans these are also hot swappable if one of the fan goes bad you can simply just you can see the arrow so you just need to like push it a little bit backwards and pull it out so it's that easy simple not a rocket science so same method uh to push it back and uh, we have two cpu slots here so first um, before going to the cpus i want to show you uh the ram side of it sorry i was using the other angle of the video but i hope you understood what i showed you so this is very important thing uh it has all the numbers like b1 b2 uh, you can see b9 so why they are important i'm gonna sh i'm gonna tell you in this video as well so i'm just gonna take this thing out and here you can see we have uh, like just one cpu installed and you can see uh, there is no cpu installed on this one but in case if you want to install a cpu it's really simple you just have to uh unlock this this or yeah first this one uh left right first the right one and then the left one and then it's out here you install the cpu so we are going to install ram so what would be the sequence so you have to do a1 first and then uh b1 uh, a1 and then b1 and then b b2 and then uh, there should be a2 right here yeah so if you're installing four rams it should be a1 b1 a2 b2 if you have both of the cpus so that's the uh, sequence but as currently i have only a side so i will install only in the a side but according to the documentation you use the white uh, notch first and then uh, sorry white um, slots first and then the green ones and then uh, in the last you use the black ones but uh, the best practice is to use the numbers a1 b1 a2 b2 uh, if you have both of the cpus or if you have just one then a1 2 3 4 okay and then next uh, those are some power kind of stuff i don't know about and then we have the cmos battery here and this is the raid uh, raid card raid controller and then we have uh, uh, this thing where we install nvme i don't know what we call it it's a riser card yeah i remember it's a riser card and this is our network interface and the power supplies so that's how it looks from inside and one more time the complete overview and that's it so now after watching this video you should have some information what is dell r620 and what we can do with it how many cpus we can install how many rams it has and how many psus we can use and what other stuff we get with this one so uh, because it's the older server you don't get any usb c or usb 3.0 they're all 2.0 and on the other side uh, the iDRAG port so you can consider that if you know about like the remote uh, desktop feature you can consider it's the remote desktop feature but with the full control like you can in remote desktop you can just log in into windows but this one or the iDRAG or there are like different IPMI for HP I guess ILO or different interfaces they're called ipmi um, ilo or idrac but idrac is specifically for dell you can have like full control of server like you can go into the bios you can uh power on power off server like a complete control like you have a server physically in front of you and whatever you have control you, you have all the controls over the server like you can uh, power on power off and go to bios change settings stuff like that but not 100 percent physical uh, like you, you cannot unplug a, a card or uh, you just have to have somebody on the site or uh, wherever your server is to plug or unplug the cables 
So yeah, that's all for today's video. It was just the overview of Dell R620. In the next video, I will show you how you can install a CPU on uh, a Dell server and then we will install RAMs as well. And upcoming videos will be all related to the initial setup of server and all that stuff. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.